So programming a patient, uh, we put an electrode into the target structure. That electrode has got four smaller electrodes, or contacts as we call them. The initial programming is actually interrogation of these four contacts to decide which is the best uh, contact for that patient that would give the maximum benefit and very few side effects. Why those specific structures are target for stimulation? So in these, in these diseases where we do deep brain stimulation, those targets have abnormal activity. Uh, some of them, like in Parkinson's disease, the subthalamic nucleus is overactive and is sending faulty signals. Uh, we call it um, pathologic signals, um, the misfire, um, the circuitry has gone wrong. So what we do is to implant the electrode in that structure that is faulty and then stimulate it at very high rates. Uh, we call this overriding the faulty circuits with this high frequency current. The current is two things. One is if the structure is overactive, it blocks the overactivity. It also produces what's called downstream stimulation in downstream structures. So overall, it overrides the faulty circuits and corrects the faulty circuits, giving benefit to the patient's symptoms. We start with small amounts of current and bump the current up slowly. There are other parameters like the duration of each pulse of the current and also the frequency of the stimulation. The frequency is very high. It's usually at 180 pulses per second. It's difficult to imagine 180 pulses within one second. So we adjust all these parameters and then we choose that contact which is the best for that patient. Then we leave the patient on that contact for some time, uh, allowing that program to work. And the program actually gets better. What we fix the patient on on a given day tends to get better over time. So if we give it another month, and then bring the patient back in, and then we continue to reprogram and build on the benefits till the patient reaches a peak benefit.